Do you have a multi-site WooCommerce store where each subsite needs a different shipping configuration? You might want customers to see different shipping options depending on which subsite they visit. In this video, you'll learn how to set up shipping for WooCommerce multi-site. We'll cover everything from creating a multi-site to importing products and content and finally setting up the shipping configuration. Skip to the fourth section if you already have a WooCommerce multi-site store. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. First, you need to create a multi-site network that will consist of the region-specific sites. If you have a website already, you can convert it into a multi-site by using some code. Before you proceed though, make sure you have a backup of your website. Also, disable all your plugins until you've completed the first step. Then, access your wp-config.php file using an FTP client like FileZilla. Open the file and add the following code at the bottom of the file just above the line that says, that's all, stop editing. Happy publishing. When you're done, save the file. And refresh your WordPress admin area. A new network setup option will appear under the Tools tab. After clicking it, you need to choose if you want to create your multi-site using subdomains or subdirectories. If you're working on a new WordPress installation, you can go for either one depending on your preferences. But you must use subdomains for an established site to prevent clashes between subdirectory addresses. Make your choice and provide the network title and admin email below. Click Install when you're done. You'll then get a set of instructions to follow, though these may slightly differ from what you're seeing on the screen. In our case, we need to copy and paste the given code in the wp-config.php file. After completing these steps, click Log in. And log into your WordPress admin area again. You'll now see a My Sites option in your sidebar and the toolbar which you can use to access the subsites in your network. Also, you can now enable the plugins that you had disabled before starting this process. Check out our video in the description to learn how plugins work in multi-site WordPress websites. If you're installing WordPress on a brand new domain, you can similarly convert it into a multi-site by editing the wp-config.php file. After enabling multi-site, you'll now configure each of the subsites. First, Hover over the My Sites button in the toolbar and head to the Sites section under the Network Admin tab. Here, we have the main website that existed before creating the multi-site. Click on Add New to create new subsites for various languages. Provide the basic subsite details like its URL, title, default language, and an admin email. Then, click Add Site. The multi-site has been created. Head to it using the toolbar at the top. Head to the General option under the Settings tab. Here, you need to localize the subsite to match its targeted demographic. We've set the language, but you can change it here. Make sure to set the time zone and the local time and date formats as well. When you're done, save the settings at the bottom. And repeat this process for all your subsites. You now need to export content from your primary site to your subsites. The easiest way to do it is to head to the Export option under the Tools tab. Here, make sure all content is selected, and click Download Export File. Then, go to a subsite where you need to add content. Head to the Import option under the Tools tab. Here, click the Install Now button under WordPress. Then, run the importer and choose the exported zip file on your computer. You can also use plugins like WP All Import and WP Import Export Lite to transfer content from the main site to the subsites. Check out our videos in the description if you want to translate your store's content based on the region. After importing the content and products, you now have the WooCommerce plugin on all your subsites. However, as these subsites operate independent of each other, you can configure shipping options differently on each of them. On the other hand, if you're starting from scratch, you'll need to install the plugin in the network admin area. Head to the network admin dashboard. 
Hover over the Plugins tab and click Add New. Here, search for WooCommerce and install it. In a multi-site environment, activating a plugin on the network admin site automatically activates it on all the subsites as well. If you want a plugin only a particular subsite, deactivate it on the network admin site and activate it on the subsites dashboard. Here's how shipping works on WooCommerce. Head to the Settings section under the WooCommerce tab. Open the Shipping Options. Under the Shipping Zones options, you can create zones consisting of cities, states, countries, and continents that will offer specific shipping methods. For example, let's set up shipping for a United States subsite. Set the zone name that customers will see during checkout. Select the United States zone from the drop-down. Then click Add Shipping Method. By default, you can choose from flat rate, free shipping, and local pickup. Then, hover over the shipping method and click Edit. For flat rate shipping methods, you can set the tax status and the cost to be levied. You can set a quantity-based flat rate cost like this. And set percentage-based fees with minimum and maximum fee limitations like this. Just edit the values according to your requirements. Save the changes when you're done. The free shipping option can be customized by setting a rule when it will be applicable, like a valid coupon, or a minimum order amount. For the local pickup shipping method, you can only set the basic cost. When you save the changes, your customers in the United States will have three shipping methods to choose from. You do not need to create a shipping zone for every single delivery location. Click here and add a shipping method to set up shipping for locations not covered by your other zones. If you don't want to ship outside of the United States for this subsite, simply don't add any shipping methods for this zone. On the other hand, if you have a WooCommerce subsite dedicated to Asia, you can select it from the drop-down and set the shipping methods you want to provide. However, you may want to exclude some countries that are counted in the shipping zone. In such a case, add the specific country for which you don't want to provide shipping as a shipping zone. Then, don't provide any shipping methods. This way, you can set up shipping for your WooCommerce multi-site stores. Let's take a look at some subsite shipping configuration examples. A small online store that delivers only to nearby neighborhoods can restrict shipping to specific PIN codes. All other locations are excluded from shipping as no shipping methods are provided here. In this example, the subsite offers flat rate and free shipping only in the United States. Let's assume the website doesn't wish to ship to the American states of Alabama, Alaska, and Hawaii. So a no shipping available zone can be created for these three states where no shipping methods will be added. Our final fictitious subsite can handle delivery anywhere in the world save for a few remote countries. So a no shipping available zone can be created for these countries where no shipping methods will be added. Then, add the shipping methods you're offering globally to the locations not covered by your other zones option. If WooCommerce's default shipping capabilities are insufficient, you can use WooCommerce extensions to add many more shipping features to your store. There are a ton of free and paid extensions on the WooCommerce store, so we'll list some of the most important ones here. The Table Rate Shipping extension lets you define multiple shipping rates based on location, price, weight, or item count. Per Product Shipping allows you to define different shipping costs for products based on customer location. Using the Order Delivery extension, you can let your customers choose their preferred delivery date and time. You can use the WooCommerce Advanced Shipping Packages extension enable splitting a cart into different packages, each with its own shipping configuration. Conditional Shipping and Payments gives you a streamlined way to restrict the shipping, payment gateways, and shipping destinations on your store. Local Pickup Plus provides a robust pickup system for retailers with multiple distribution centers along with scheduled pickups and product availability at pickup locations. WooCommerce Shipping lets you print labels for domestic and international shipments quickly and effortlessly. 
The store also offers extensions for carrier integration so you can get shipping rates from carriers like FedEx, Canada Post, UPS, and Australia Post. You can install these carrier extensions on the network admin site and activate only on the region-specific subsite where they are needed. Apart from the WooCommerce store, you'll find many more useful shipping extensions on sites like CodeCanyon, Plugin Republic, and L Extensions. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.